welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, for some more Barcelona news because there's more discussion on exactly who could and who should take over from Xavi at the end of the season. Who is going to be the new Barca coach? Today we're going to be discussing Hansi Flick again, Sergio Conceição and also Jurgen Klopp as we do discuss a difference in opinion and we already have discussed today earlier on on the channel the verdict on Barca appeal when it comes to Vito Roque's red card and honestly guys it was just another rant which is a standard day at the office for me right now so that is there if you want to check it out but Let's begin first of all with Noah Darvik. And I want to start with this young man because I feel as though at times he has gone under the radar at this club. We do tend to forget about him, but he's a big, big talent. This was somebody that we signed back in the summer for just 2.5 million euros with huge, huge potential. And since then, he's gone on to impress at the Under-17 World Cup with Germany. He was a huge part of the team that won the whole thing. He was the captain. He scored there in the final. And it was really, really impressive to see from him and then yesterday what we're talking about a bit more now he was brilliant yesterday in Barca's UEFA Youth League match against Mainz he was running the show in midfield he also scored a goal there as well and I love the way this young man carries the ball he's actually very tall he's strong he shields it well but he's got so much technical ability there the way that he just seems to glide through the field doing everything in his own time in his own way and look guys I want to mention this now because I know of late we've missed out on some big talent you know, Echeverry, he was another player that really impressed at the Under-17 World Cup. And more recently, of course, we've missed out on Lucas Bergval in midfield. That one was highly publicised. And of course, you always want the fresh new talent. You always want the exciting new player. But we also can't forget what we already have here. And I think in Noah Davik, he's got enormous potential. And I'm really hoping he can make his way to the first team that he can succeed in a Barcelona shirt. Because I think the sky's the limit for him. And particularly, guys, one thing to bear in mind is that he may be playing soon under a German coach which is now when we move on to that. Because when it comes to the potential new Barca coach, there have been plenty of rumours swirling around over the past 24 hours. And we have been debating here on the channel, guys, who's going to have the most influence, the most power when it comes to choosing that new coach? You know, is it going to be Juan Laporta as the president? Is it going to be Deco? Now, Laporta, of course, recently suggested it would be down to Deco. He would have the final say. But Deco, let's not forget, was very, very quick to say it's going to be a group decision. It will not just be me, but I think that's interesting when we talk about this next report here. As it has been rumoured in the media recently that there's a disagreement now behind the scenes when it comes to Laporta and when it comes to Deco on the new direction of Barca. Because it is being said there that Deco right now is leaning towards Sergio Conceição as the new Barca coach, whereas Juan Laporta would much rather Hansi Flick as the new coach there. Laporta wants somebody who's more of a higher profile name. He also wants somebody there with proven quality. Deco, though, is more willing to look further down, to go with somebody maybe with a lower profile, and he really likes Conceição. But... Let's talk about him, because I just want to say, guys, and we've already spoken about this when we talk about all the coaches that have been linked to Barca, I don't see any reason at all that Conceição is the man for us. There's nothing that he has done so far in his coaching career that says, I'm ready for Barca. I have earned the Barca coaching job. Because this is somebody, for me, who hasn't even impressed massively in Portugal, with Porto right now. There are plenty of Porto fans that I have seen that if he does leave at the end of the season, they won't even be sorry. They won't even really be sad to see him go. And now we're saying he's the man to take us forward. Now, I think if he was appointed as the coach of Barca, guys, it would simply be a case of picking somebody solely based on their connections. You've got Deco there, who we know is Portuguese. He also played for Porto earlier in his career. And of course, like we've said, Conceição is a Jorge Mendes client, which is when I also want to stress right now, it is also very possible 
possible that we're hearing lots of links to Kon Sisao, lots of rumours surrounding him. The Barca name may be being used again by Jorge Mendes. We may be allowing him here to use our name to drum up interest in his client. We have seen this before with other Jorge Mendes clients, their players who've been linked to Barca, who really we were never going to go for. We were never going to go and get. But we're happy for our name to be used there so that Mendes's client can be linked to us. Maybe other clubs looking can think, OK, if he's going to be leaving his job at the end of the season, Barca wanted him. Barca were interested. Maybe that means that we should be looking at him. And it's just something there that maybe we allow Mendes to do in order to help us in other areas when transfers come about, like João Cancelo, like João Felix, for example. So it's very possible there that these Concessão rumours are completely empty. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because I've got to say, guys, and I have to say this with absolute certainty right now, when it comes to either Deco or Laporta, if it is between those two options, I'm firmly on Laporta's side right now. For me, we have to get somebody with proven quality. We have to bring in somebody here as the coach of Barca with experience at the highest level. Somebody there who has been already in such a high-pressured environment and they've succeeded in that. That is so, so important here. And unless you can tick all of those boxes, for me, you should not even be considered for this job. And I think it's really interesting right now because only recently we spoke about Christian Falk there, Sport Build in Germany, the journalist there who said that the Barca job would really appeal to Hansi Flick, that he looks at it and he thinks, OK, that is something I would like to take on. And now today, we're also hearing from Fabrizio Romano, very reliable as we know, he says Hansi Flick would love the Barca job. You know, he wouldn't just like it. He wouldn't just be appealed by it. He would absolutely love to take over as the new coach of Barca. And I do think it's interesting because what we've also heard in the media recently for maybe those closer to flip their inside reports is that actually one of the things that he's most excited about at Barca and why he would be so keen to take over is that young core of the team. The talents there at the club that we possess, the quality we have in the younger players coming through. He's really excited by that apparently and he feels as though he could do something very very exciting and impressive with those younger talents and that is why I do mention people like Noah Darvik you know even players that are not in the first team we've got so many young talents already there but there's also plenty more as well with the potential to come through and to see them there under somebody like Flick would be really really intriguing to me so what we are hearing right now are lots of positive messages lots of positive signs from the side of Flick when it comes to taking over that he would be interested. He may already be learning Spanish, for example. And if reports are to be believed, Juan Laporta would certainly be in favour of Hansi Flick at Barca. However, guys, there's still one more name, isn't there? There is still one more coach that we continue to wonder about, that we continue maybe to dream about in some ways. It is Jurgen Klopp. Because as we've also spoken about recently, we have heard that Deco and Laporta will do everything in their power to bring him in, to convince him there not to take a holiday, not to take a break at the end of the season, and to immediately jump in to the Barca job. But can it really happen? And I want to bring you a report here from Gerard Romero, who I think at times, you know, we're not quite sure what to make of Romero's reporting. Sometimes he can come up with absolute gold. We've all seen his leaks recently from La Liga and the VAR room. That has been absolutely incredible to see. But on the transfer side of things, on the coaching side of things here, we're going to have to wait and see when it comes to his reliability. The big report from him is that he says Barca is the only club in the world that can convince Jurgen Klopp not to take a break at the end of the season. If any anybody could, if there was any chance, even a very, very small one, the clock could be convinced it would only be Barca that could make that possible. And Romero actually goes on there to say that Laporta himself there directly has already had some brief and very casual conversations with Jurgen Klopp. And he went on to say he's keen, he is interested, intrigued maybe, by the project at Barca. So make of that what you will, which then does leave us today, guys, with three questions, in my opinion. Things that I want to know from you. Number one, is there any part of you that thinks, OK, Concessão might work at Barca? Is there any part of you that thinks, OK, he might actually be a decent coach for us? Let me know that down below. The second question would be, how do you think Flick would operate with these young talents, with the squad that we have? How do you think that he would get on? Do you trust in him to get the absolute best out of it? Let me know in the comments down 
down below too. And finally, do you still have any hope at all? Maybe give me a percentage from 0 to 100 on whether you believe Barca could convince Klopp, whether he could be convinced by us to not take a break at the end of the season. Let me know on all of those three questions down below. I will be waiting to hear from you and thank you indeed for all of your great support right now, guys. I really, really appreciate it and I'll be back very, very soon. But until next time, yeah, as always, Vishka, yeah, Barca. Uh -huh.